हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द एसेसरीज ऑफ बॉयलर इट इज कॉल्ड सुपर हीटर द फंक्शन ऑफ ए सुपर हीटर इज टू इंक्रीज द टेंपरेचर ऑफ द स्टीम अबव इट्स सैचुरेशन पॉइंट द सुपर हीटर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एसेसरी ऑफ द बॉयलर एंड कैन बी यूज्ड बोथ इन फायर ट्यूब एज वेल एज वाटर ट्यूब बॉयलर we have already discussed in our previous lecture basically in a boiler there are two parts mounting and accessories mounting means those part in the boiler okay which must be required in the boiler without this part we cannot operate the boiler and accessories means those part in the boiler okay it is not compulsory thing but whenever we use it at that time it will improve the performance or efficiency of the boiler so super heater is a accessory the super heater is very important accessory of a boiler and can be used in both fire tube as well as water tube boiler the small boiler are not provided with a super heater the following are the advantages of a super heated steam the first advantage steam consumption of a turbine or engine is reduced second advantage losses due to condensation in the cylinder of steam engine and the steam pipes are reduce erosion of the turbine blades is also eliminated and the efficiency of the steam plant is increased by using superheated steam what is the location of the superheater superheaters are located in the path of the furnace flue gases so that it is recovered by the superheater from the hot gases so it is located where the temperature range is high there are basically two types of superheater convective superheater and radiant superheater convective superheater makes use of heat in flue gases whereas a radiant superheater is placed in the furnace and wall tubes receive heat from the burning fuel through radiant processes the radiant type of superheater is generally used where a high amount of uh, superheater temperature is required it consists of steel headers to which are attached solid drawn u tubes of steel Now we will discuss the working principle of superheater. The steam from the boiler enters and leaves the headers as shown by the arrows. Also shows how the steam pipes may be arranged so as to pass the steam through the superheater or direct to the main steam pipe. When the steam is taken from the boiler directly to the main steam pipe, at that time the valve V1 and V2 are closed. and v3 is open so at that time steam is uh, directly uh, supplied to the turbine without passing through the superheater when the steam is passed through the superheater at that time or we can say when the superheater is in action at that time the valve v3 is closed and the valve v1 and v2 are open so at that time what's happen the steam it will pass through the pipeline then after it will pass through the u tube coil of the superheater and it will pass through the uh, v2 valve and it is supplied to the turbine whenever the uh, superheater it is in action so at that time the valve v3 is closed and valve v1 and v2 are open the path of the gases is controlled by the damper which is operated by the hand wheel a balanced damper is provided in the superheater to prevent the overheating of the superheater tubes this damper is operated by handle by turning the damper upward into the vertical position the gases uh, pass directly into the bottom flue without passing over the superheater tubes by placing the damper in intermediate position part of the gases will go over to the superheater tubes and remaining will pass directly to bottom flue varying degree of superheat may be thus possible to obtain thank you friends for watching this video i hope this content it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends